And now that building and painting is complete, it's time to start putting on the decals. What I put on first was Mr. Setter, and then I'm going to put on my decals. I just let it soak in water. I'm gonna move it around, and then I'm going to use a Q-tip to take off any excess fluid. So it's basically gonna be the same process for almost all of the decals on this aircraft. You're gonna put them in warm water, then you're gonna let them soak, you're gonna take them off, you're gonna put them onto the aircraft. I use Mr. Mark Setter first, this way it gives me a little bit of time to move them around. Some of the decals we are gonna use Mr. Mark Softer and we'll talk about that more in detail when we get to that point. The decals that come with this kit are pretty good. They're well saturated, the color is nice on them. They're very thin and there's very little film at the edge. There are some problems and I'll show you those in a little while. All of the flat decals laid down really well, especially the stars and the 100s that we have to put on the plane. Even the rainbows did. But I guess that's with most flat decals, they should lay down well. We shouldn't have trouble with those. Next up, we're gonna start on the cockpit decals. Again, these are flat, no problem on the outer control panels. When I do get to the main panel here, I am using Mr. Mark Softer because this decal was a little large going around the top of the anti-glare panel and I had to wrap it. So on the above left where that little white dot is, that actually wraps up onto the console itself and I had to touch up with black paint over that so it didn't show. And I'm just setting in the last decal control panel for the cockpit and the cockpit decals are done. With this 100 decal, the front end of the P-38 is finished. Here I'm starting to work on the tail of the P-38. These decals are ones that are gonna be a pain in the butt a little bit. They don't fit very well, they don't meet up at the edges, so I'm only gonna show you one side, the outside and the inside of one side of the plane. When I was done with these, and I'll show you a little bit later, I didn't show you the painting, but you'll see the silver at the top goes through, and I had to paint a little blue on here. These are the wraparound ones at the end of the nacelle, and you can see they keep bubbling, they don't fit well, so I finally had to just give in and just let two little tails wrap around. I could have painted them with silver, but I just chose to leave it. Working on the inner rainbows, again, these don't fit well. The bulb doesn't match up very well. If you want, you can paint them, otherwise you're gonna have that silver band. I used Mr. Mark Softer to make them set. And this is the final rainbow on the outer tail. Again, it doesn't fit well, but I just wanted to let you know, if you're gonna use Mr. Mark Softer, be very careful with that. It's very aggressive. Once you use it, you do not have much time to move your decal and it may tear on you. I ended up just using the Putt-Putt Maru decal on the front nose of the aircraft because I used too much Mr. Softer and I tore up the black decal, unfortunately. Starting to add the final parts onto the plane, the two superchargers are added. I gloss coated over all the decals again and we should be good to go. After gloss coating, I went back in on the anti-glare panel with the Ultra Matte by Ammo by MIG. Now it's time to throw the props on. This is another place I didn't use the decals. They didn't wrap around very well. And unfortunately, one side spins and one side doesn't, but oh well. Just adding a few final touches, adding a black wash to the wheel bay door in the front, and then we're gonna be adding a black wash to all of the struts for the tires. Because this is my first plane I've ever built, I forgot about adding counterweight to the nose and that this plane is a tail sitter. So what I did was I drilled out with a micro drill each tire. I added a pin into the tire and I will be gluing it down to the base. And next up was taking those pin tires, popping a little extra thin cement into the holes and gluing all of the tires and struts in place.
And now that the wheels are all in place, we'll work on the base. This is just a round base from Hobby Lobby. I used clear Elmer's glue, just spread it all around. And then we're gonna use our homemade static grass applicator, which you can find on our channel how to make. Shake it about, give it one layer, dust it off, and then we go to the second layer and we have a nice grassy field. I put a little CA on the pins of the tires, put it into the base, and it holds nice and tight. So thank you for coming along on this journey, building the Eggplane P38 for the 2023 Eggplane group build. If you enjoyed this, I hope you stick around and enjoy the slideshow of the final pictures. We'll see you on the next build. Chicago way. He had a bookie style that no one else could play. He was a top man at his craft. But then his number came up and he was gone with the draft. He's in the army now, a blowing reveille. He's the boogie woogie bugle boy of Company B. They made him blow a bugle for his Uncle Sam. It really brought him down because he couldn't jam. The captain seemed to understand. Because the next day the cap went out and drafted a band. And now the company jumps when he plays reveille. He's the boogie woogie bugle boy of Company B. A toot.